So that was fun. If you were watching uh, Retro Game Night, you may notice that just at a critical moment, the computer crashed. The Xbox did not crash. The computer hosting my streaming software crashed, and thus we were left 10 minutes shy of completing uh, my first mission as Pathfinder, as, as Scott Ryder. It was fun. It was interesting to do that again. But uh, I was looking to sign off anyway, and I think that we're going to fill that hole with some unboxing, dual, triple unboxing, uh, trying to get everything squared away with this new sound mixer, this new microphone, this new microphone arm. So, that's what we're doing tonight. It's the Temple of Technology. We are no longer the idiot with the microphone. It's full-time Temple of Technology. And uh, let's turn some other stuff off, shall we? That's what we want to turn off there. We want this to be larger. And we'll, we'll make sure that gets centered. Centered horizontally. That's how it looks. All right. Here in camera two, text goes along the bottom, but it's also important. Oh, no, that's not what we want. There, we want that. Temple of Technology. That's how it goes. Okay, so there's three things that we want to do tonight. We want to install this monitor arm here that you can see on camera one, but not camera two. So we'll go back to camera one. All right, here's this monitor arm. I started to open it and I thought, hey, you know what we should do? We should unbox that some bitch. And so on the back it says premium feels, sophisticated looks. Compass is a premium tube-style desktop boom arm with internal springs and built-in cable management. Ideal for broadcast applications like game streaming, podcasting, voiceover, and more. With smooth, quiet operation and sophisticated on-camera looks, Compass is the perfect boom arm for mics weighing up to 2.4 pounds, including the Blue Yeti and Blackout Spark SL. And then it's here in uh, German, which I, I can read off, but I'm not going to do that because that's just not me. All right, so premium tube style broadcast boom arm, premium all tube internal spring design, hidden channel cable management, hand tightened friction hinges for smooth, quiet operation, compatible with all standard shock mounts, and that's what I'm hoping, included in the box, a compass desktop boom arm, seat clamp for desktop mount, and 3 8 inch to 5 8 inch adapter. All right, let's begin. So we're gonna head stay here for right now because this is where <coughs> the box is and there are three layers or rather a triple layer <coughs> a styrofoam right here on the top and it's glued to the box it is not going anywhere so I'm gonna have to lift the entire arm out through the top including all this cardboard because that's fun oh that was a lot easier than I thought this empty box away with you my wine and water are way over there so oh look at that popped right off excellent here is the arm itself and as I understand it this cable channel yeah I have to put my own cable in there that's okay. I have a cable, and I'm ready to put that cable in. Uh, I should probably do that before I put it on the back, though. So, it bends. And I believe once you bend it in place, you tighten it down. And it just stays in place. This is going to go behind my monitor. Behind my monitor. And feed over the top of it. So it'll be interesting. All right, so a few things have to happen there. This is the C count mount for the bottom, and I decided to put this at the back of my sit to stand riser. So go ahead here to camera two. You can see the corner I'm aiming at is right here. And you can really hear that on the microphone. So that's what we're trying to avoid. I am not sure I have enough room back there to do this. 
but we're gonna try. I have pushed the sit to stand back a couple inches. I may have to push it back a couple more. We'll see if I can even tighten this the right way. Yeah, it's gonna have to go right there on the back corner. <coughs> Hmm, still need a little more. <coughs> there it goes. All right, and we're going to tighten it down straight for that corner. I'm going to move all this in a bit. So we're going to stay here on camera two for now. Keep this clear of any cabling back here. There's a lot of cabling back here. I think I'm tightening it. I am not tightening it, I am loosening it. I'm going the opposite direction of where I want to go. That is on there and it is not screwing around, which is what we want, right? We don't want this thing to be moving. We don't want it to be affected by vibration. We just want it to work. Hey, kitty, that's a box. That's not for you. Okay, the next thing we would do in normal installation would be to drop this thing into place. I, oh, look at that. I got a, I am an idiot with a microphone, and at this point I'm an idiot with a webcam. I just uh, impacted this cable, this cable here. So I'm trying to figure out how this all works here. Optimal tension adjustment. I can adjust the tension there. Make sure we've got it how we want, but we want this. In fact, we want it to go straight up behind the monitors. And then this will do our work. This is where the microphone will sit here, like this. So let's tighten that down a bit. And tighten this down. So that this back end of the monitor arm goes straight up and down. Yeah. All right, that's going to work. Okay, fit it right there. Can fit it over on top of this one. That's good. So, but we don't want to put that on there just yet because we want to get cabling in for the microphone. And that would be this cable right here. We've got a lot of good cables. So, Let's look at the microphone itself. Which means a trip back to camera one. But it's okay, we know the way. Camera one lives here, all right. You see I got my green screen back there. And behind me here is the pop-up green screen. And then there, of course is Groot. He is Groot, okay. <clears throat> this is a really nice microphone given to me by my friend Guffy Bear, Keith Stewart. It is the Audio Technica AT2020. It is a boom condenser, is a cardio condenser microphone. It is functionally identical to the one that is here on my desktop, except that it is not powered by USB. It has separate power, phantom power, and uh, because it is meant to be used on an arm, it is <coughs> less susceptible to vibrations 
And it's also much more portable. I could put it here <coughs> in that uh all right so we are going to carefully 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 actually we should do this the other way we should put the uh we should put the mount on the arm first and then put the microphone on the mount that way we are oh look at that This is for a larger microphone. I need a smaller microphone here, and there it is. A couple different ways to do that, but I think that's the one we want. Cut that off to the side like that. So the microphone will go into here. you are a microphone aficionado and you want to tell me how I'm doing everything wrong, please do so. Because I am an idiot with a microphone. And now I've got a new one. Okay. We can adjust that however we want. We'll figure that optimum placement out in a bit. For starters, we are going to plug ourselves in. Got our big cable. This will supply both power and it will take uh, audio away. This microphone uses phantom power and uh, both of the mixers that I have inherited use have a phantom power out. So I am going to carefully work this microphone cable in through this back channel. I'm going to use my second favorite tool in the universe to do that because it has a probe. And it's not just a knife, it is an actual probe meant for probing things, so... If I can get it out... There it is. Okay, it's kind of a knife on it, but it's not that big of a deal. Or I could use a screwdriver for this, I guess, but it's fun to use my knife. I got a lot of use out of this knife in the last dozen years. It was a great gift. I really appreciated it from the person who gave it to me. Mind you, she dumped me on my birthday, but it was a birthday gift. So. Should I be reading something? I should probably be reading something about how this channel works. There's instructions here. Let's read them before I break something. All right. Very nice instructions, very heavy paper. I'll put it on the stack of all the other things that I'm not paying attention to once I install an item. It's warranty information. I'm sure that'll come in handy uh, at some point. Premium tube style broadcast boom arm. All right. Fixed mounting with desk insert bushing. We are not doing that. We did the C-clamp. That's what we did. It is clamped. <clears throat> open the cable snaps along the top side of the boom tubes and tuck the microphone cable in. It doesn't say how to open them. It just says open them. So I think... Oh, they snap up. You get your fingernail in here and they snap right loose. Now I was going to use a knife. That would have been silly. All right. I'm gonna give it a little bit of play on the back end. It does fit in there really nice. I was worried uh, looking at the reviews online that this was an integral cable and that it actually had the big XLR cable mounted in the arm, but that is not the case. It is uh, just a channel. Even now I have a viewer. It's crazy. Is it another robot? Uh, 
uh, I got another TV viewer, another TTV viewer, streamers on Discord, and streamer Discord community. Uh, I am going to check Facebook here. Of course, Facebook is what made me crash last time, I think. I'm technically live on Facebook now, even though I'm not looking at it. Oh, it's sad. My friend's cat is having problems. All right. There I am. My my actual brother asked me what I'm up to. So I'm going to say, installing a new microphone and sound mixer. Here we go. My brother Anthony, who uh, works on airplanes, right? He's a lot smarter than I am. And so he should be able to laugh at me as I do this. Because I've got this. Okay, and then of course there's my hair on the back end. Everyone can see my bald head. Or balding head. Go ahead on back to camera two. There we go. That's where we want to be. Camera two. <clears throat> and we're installing. I want to make sure that this goes in front of the cable for camera two because you don't want to make that mistake twice. Boom, like that. It is down. It is in. That stand that microphone is standing. Okay, as I said before, we're going to bend this forward so it has a proper amount of tension. We don't want a lot of movement out of that, and we want to be able to do things with it. So there it is, right there. It's not live, don't worry about that. Uh but I've got some action. If I want to, I could turn this more so it's fully under. In fact, that's probably a smarter way to do that, is to have that come underneath the boom mic so it is completely dependent. But it'll look like that. The reason why I'm mounting this here is because this whole desk surface goes up and down. Right? And it goes... Uh, It'll rise up to about here when all is said and done. I've got these new metal stands for my monitors. And uh, they are good to go on that front. Cable management, of course, is always an issue. A lot of people don't like my cable management. I'm not particularly fond of it, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> but for right now... We're going to leave this loose. I have way more cable here than I need. In fact, uh, if there is a six, if there's a two meter cable in this bag, I should use that two meter cable. This is, uh, that's a, that's a many meters cable. Let's look at different cables. Now that I've inserted it properly into the into the arm, we should look at this big bag of cables here that you can't see. This big bag of cables that I have for a two meter XLR cable. I bet there's one in here. There's a lot of them. Here is a two meter XLR cable that goes straight into plug that is not what I want I want to go XLR all the way so that it is powered properly through phantom power so I'm going to pull on this cable and see what happens it also looks kind of long oh yeah that's uh that thing is huge these cables are made for broadcast studios not a, not a spare bedroom like what I've got here okay so I'm just going to wrap it up I've got zip ties around here. I've got ties. There's one right here. Very important stuff to have. So you hear all of this noise going on on my desktop. All of this noise because this microphone is very sensitive and it just sits here on top of my desk. It doesn't do a lot of stuff.
is another cable. We're going to need both two of them. In fact, I think these might have actually come off this cable when I took it out of the bag yesterday. Okay, so. Back here, I don't need a lot of room. This is my sound mixer, by the way. It's the Yamaha MG10X. It'll do 10 different audio channels in. I'm probably only going to ever need two or three. So this right here for this microphone, uh, this for an iPad to go in. I'm going to figure out how to do that. I'm pretty sure I know. And then if I want to do headphone return, so I can listen to headphone returns, I have a bunch of different ways I can do that. But I got two of the two mixers. This is the one I like better because it has a very solid power supply. This is it's screwed in, it's not going to come loose, and it's got a, a, a proper on-off switch. Those are really important to me because uh, I break shit a lot. And then it's got USB 2.0 out, USB 2.0 into the back of my machine. I already know where it's going to go. For tonight, we're going to put it in the front where uh, my Xbox controller usually goes. <clears throat> I know how exciting this is to people who are not me. I am a huge fan of taking things out of boxes and putting them into other boxes, but also... That's a, that is so much cable. I do not need this much cable. I should look at shorter cables than the cable I am using. All right. On the bright side, I finally found the end of the cable. You hear it rattling around against the desk there. Nothing is plugged into anything electronic yet. We are simply handling semi-sensitive pieces of plastic. Now where did that other twist tie go? Here it is. It's right over there. I am not an electrical engineer. I am barely an IT nerd. But that goes down there, I know that much. And it plugs in right here. It's my main microphone line, it goes there. Okay, okay. This is the charger for my Apple Watch. We'll make sure that goes in there. This is my monitor. Since I'm not going around the back of the PC today, I can put this right back into place where it belongs in front of the microphone arm, which is one of the main reasons I wanted this particular microphone arm, is that it would come up and over with plenty of clearance. Okay, this is my lighting over here. Cleverly set there. And this is my bias lighting for the back. Full light all the way in there. All right. So were I to turn this all on, it would be picking up my voice just fine, and it would not pick up the sound of my typing. And we're going to get to that place. It's a good place for us to be. Oh, I am really interested in this cable. This cable here. This cable here makes me want to do something with it. It'll stay near the top of the stack. <coughs> High performance microphone cable V00665 from Structure, very German. All right, 
the next thing we gotta do, get back here to camera one. Next thing I gotta do is I gotta plug this into actual power. So, this is not yet plugged in. This is not yet plugged into the PC. That's gonna be the next step, but this is the power supply. It comes out of the mixer into this transformer and then it's got a standard non-grounded plug which bugs me but that's going to go into the back of my machine and today <coughs> so that I don't waste time going around the back I am going to plug it in to this plug right here on my desktop. And it lights up. It lights up and it, it's very pretty. Alright, so there are many settings here. Uh, all I want is normal. I don't even know if I want settings on this. It's got a lot of digital effects. I don't know what it's going to sound like. I don't know what's going on. We'll find out. All right, so here is the next step in my process. I'm going to plug this into my PC. This should not explode. Fairly sure. This button here, make sure that I have power to the microphone. And if I'm very lucky, I'll be able to hear it on my cans. All right. Yeah, well, that's good. Something's going on there. So we have to add this as a source in OBS. So we're going to do that right now. Uh, yeah, we're going to add this as a source. So audio, not that one. There it is, line, MGXU. So whatever I plug into this soundboard is going to come out the other end. And I'm going to add to my mixer. Boom. Oh, showing mixer monitor and output. Yeah, there it is. So what we want. Let's turn that all the way up. And now I have turned it off. So if you are watching at home, and I believe my brother Anthony may be the only person watching at home, uh, I need to know how this sounds. I need to know uh, if you can hear my voice coming through that microphone right up there. Go back to camera one. So you can see camera two here. You can see that uh, it's not going to work. It's not going to do what I want it to work. Yeah, there's camera two down there. on big camera one. Let's turn off the game capture card. I said turn off the capture card. There we go. Turn off game capture. All right. So I'm going to pull the microphone down in such a fashion that I can see it here. So that is far down as I can get it. And it doesn't really obstruct my view. It's sitting right over the PC, right over everything. Uh, go back to camera two. You can see camera one. Everyone say hi to camera one. And there's the microphone. That's what it looks when it's hanging down. So I think this is working. I think this is coming through. And I am going to do a bunch of tests. 
a bunch of recordings, a bunch of tests to see how well this is coming through compared to the other microphones I have available to me, including the one that's sitting on my head right now. So uh, I thank you all for coming out to the Temple of Technology. I am your host, Scott James Magner. Oh, look at that. There's a cable sitting in front of my, my webcam so that you can't exactly see what's going on. Uh, yeah, that was fun. I, I, it's less terrifying than I thought it would be. I just plugged everything in and it worked. I think. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do for a long-term monitoring solution. Because, you know, having a headset on with headphones that also has a microphone is not exactly the best way to not exactly the best way to test your microphone settings. But I do have other headsets in here, good headsets, with good audio. And they just have shit microphones. So if all I care about is the audio, I've got that covered. And that's, uh, that's camera two. Is camera two back where I want? No, it's not back where I want. Oh, but now I can see the microphone. That's really good. Let's drop this down a little more. Uh, okay. Camera two is really squirrely because the tripod I have it on is technically broken. We can see the microphone. That's kind of what we wanted to see the microphone. We want to see a lot of technology here on camera two. We want it to be a little more raw, a little more focused as to what's going on. Is anyone listening? Is anyone watching? Probably not. But there's a couple things that we do on camera two that are really important and uh, I think I can stretch all the way over here to get one of them. There it is. We stay classy. And that's, uh, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to be doing some more recording tests. Going to be testing out exactly how well this microphone works as opposed to the one right in front of my face and the one right over there. And that's something that I don't need to do on a live stream to all of two viewers one of whom may not even be real. Yeah, these are these are robots. Or, you know, maybe they're live people. I don't know. They're not talking. What's kind of interesting is that... Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, that's, I'm seeing autofocuses a lot here on the Facebook feed, but not on my regular OBS feed. So, we can stay classy on camera one, too. I am your host, Scott James Magner, the idiot with a microphone, here from the glorious temple of technology where the newest editions are an AT2020 condensing microphone and a Yamaha 5G 10XU sound mix board. Thank you for bearing with me. I'm going to listen back to the playback and see just how awful this is and what I can do to fix it. Take care.